Well, hey friends, welcome back to the cabin. What you've been watching me do up there is I've been framing um, this side because of the transition of the two different roof lines that I've got up there. Um, I need to go ahead and put the siding on between that because of the two foot overhang. Once I get the roof on, then anything up under there we would have to bend over. So I'm going to go ahead and put the siding on that upper two feet basically and that much will be done. The rest of it I can do at any time. But before I do that, um, I have got to treat the wood. So let me get everything together and that's what we'll do. I actually went and got this flashing this morning uh, to put it down there so that I would have a good seal that when I put my um, metal on here that this will protect uh, the bottom corner right here where water doesn't actually run off in there. screws because screws actually will hold better nails actually pull out.
think I got enough left to do these boards right here. I find it's easier to treat the material before you put it up. That way once it's up, you don't have to go back and do it. And this pine was actually a little bit on the dry side, so it, it's been soaking this stuff up. But I'll tell you what, this cabot stuff is really, 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 really good stuff. And I don't get paid to say anything about them, but I certainly have used their timber oil and this clear wood protectant is what they call it. Um, I really like it because it kind of leaves the lumber blonde and in this case um, that's what I wanted to be able to have a, a good contrast between the timber oil that I had used on the frame and the siding that I was going to put on there. So I measured 27 inches on the first one before it actually starts to taper. And right about there. Well, I'm getting ready to do some bracing of the walls down there and I had this left over. I decided that what I wanted to do was basically make them as wide as the 2 by 4s that I'm going to be using. So, this is a little bit on the narrow side, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway. It's not too bad.
Look at that. Pretty good clip. Okay, what my idea is, is this. Get slid over into place. Let me mark that so I know where it's at. I'm going to go ahead and toe nail it. And I'm going to come back and put some great big timber screws in it. It is twist the post is twisted just a hair. That's what happens when it sets out in the sunlight. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. seven feet is roughly right there these braces are just some added um, benefit that I'm putting in there because it's going to be pretty stout like it is um, but I decided while I've got it open that I'm going to go ahead and Kind of like they used to do uh, old school where they would put a diagonal piece and they would put framing up above that diagonal piece. So these are going to go in each corner. These weigh quite a bit. The reason I'm cutting all this extra off before I take it down to the chop saw is just because it's not built for heavy duty stuff like this. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yeah, pretty good cut. See if I can get this knocked into place. Smidge off. Well, let's see. I wonder if I can wedge that. Yeah. That.
You know, it's always nice to have help, isn't it? I have one of my good friends. You guys have seen him here before. He likes to uh, come up here unannounced and bring hamburgers and stuff for me to cook on the grill because he just loves that outdoor cooking. That's correct. Yeah. He come <laughs> by and he said, hey, I come by to visit and I even have lunch. And I thought, oh, that's great. I don't have to make anything. But he has to cook it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to cook it, yeah. But anyway, we had a couple hamburgers. They were great. So he's going to hang out here with me until I get this finished. Um, putting these up. So we're almost done and got this whole wall on this side frame. Let's see, we got one more piece to put in, don't we? Which is that piece right there. Yeah. Okay. How about that? I can yeah. tell you this, even though nobody's ever going to see this, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of good work that's went into this. You know, um, Tom is the clinical coordinator for the uh, paramedic school. We've teased about this before. I was one of your best students, wasn't I? Absolutely. Yeah, see, he's even good at lying, okay? <laughs> um, no, I'm just teasing you. but. Uh, I am serious about him being the clinical coordinator. Uh, so whenever he comes by, we get a chance to sit down and talk shop. It's Smokey trying to catch his breath there. I want to thank my good friend Tom for uh, stopping by and bringing hamburgers. They were great, by the way, and helping me finish uh, frame the end of this wall right here. You know, I've got some material left. Got quite a bit more that I'm going to have to uh, cut to be able to frame the walls and cover all this. But it's all coming together little by little. Folks, if you're interested um, in what we're doing up here, compare this to where we were about our first year. Click up here in the top right hand corner, I think it's called One Man's Journey, and look and see where we were compared to where we're at now. Guys, thanks for stopping by. We really do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.